Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how we can take our lane sets and our synthetic lanes that we've developed using the earlier tutorial videos and search for matches within our database to those lanes. So you can see that when we move through to the matching screen, on the right hand side we're going to see every lane, every single lane that's in our database with all of the bands highlighted in green. So I'll just run through the options that we've got on this screen because there's quite a lot of them here. So on the left hand side at the top we have all of the, the matching parameters. So uh, this is going to fine tune what we're matching for and how we're matching and how accurate the match needs to be before it's declared a match. So the first option is the match set. So all database is exactly what it sounds like. It's matching the entire database to itself. But you can also narrow this down to different sets. So these are kind of the sets that we've already created in the earlier steps. Um, and we can refer back to so we can keep reproducing this, um, this matching using these sets. So an example would be if our database kept growing with new samples, but we had a fixed number of um, bands that we were always looking for in our expanding database, we could rerun the same kind of comparisons and see if any of the new lanes that we've added to our database match the criteria for those other sets that we were looking at as, as we move along. So a, a good example of that would be kind of QC of raw materials. If you're expecting to see or, or, or you're expecting not to see certain bands show up and they did as your database grew, those would be identified and matched. So the RF vector is a measure of how close your bands need to be between different lanes for it to be declared a match. So for example, these would are very obviously a match because they are almost exactly the same position. Um, but the larger the RF vector, the further these bands can be away from each other but still be declared a match. So yeah, that's, that's kind of the tolerance for the matching parameters. The minimum RF and the maximum RF denote where along your lane we're looking for matching bands. So if it's set to zero and one at the default, it will search the whole lane for a match. If you had, for example, say 0.3 to 0.7, it would only look towards the middle of the lane for matching bands. So it's it's a kind of a way of a way of having exclusion criteria between your different lanes for your matching. And then the similarity is kind of the statistical method used for matching. And I would leave this on dice for the vast majority of um, uses. However, if you just click the tooltip here, you can read through the kind of how each one works mathematically and what would be the best use case for every single one. If we come down here to band classes, so when you create a match using 1D Pro, it creates a band class and you can save these band classes. And a band class is just a group of matched lanes, um, but you can save them. So if I just come through and match these lanes, so yep, yeah, and I've used the entire database. So what I've done here is by clicking match lanes, I've got all of my lanes together and you'll see it was very quick to do to do this as well. I've searched for matches across all of my lanes in my database, but I'm not matching anything to my database. I'm just matching my database to itself. If I wanted to match something to my database, I would use a match set. So one of these here, which I, I went through kind of how you would set those up in the earlier installments of this tutorial series. Um, but then once you've done some matches, you can save that as a band class. So if I had done one, if I had used this and matched my lanes using using this set, um, I could then save that band class as kind of results set one, for example. Um, we've also got so yeah, that's that's what the band classes do, and that's why we save them. Match lanes does exactly what it sounds like. I'll just go back to the entire database. Match lanes is exactly what it sounds like. It is the big match lanes button. And calculate table is what you use to calculate the table, which will I'll cover in these tabs when I move on to them. But it match lanes does the matching in this screen. Calculate table fills in the rest of the statistics in these other tabs. So if you go into these tabs 
and you've not clicked calculate table, which I have not done, it, you can't get a lane similarity score. You can get a band matrix score though, but I'll cover those in a second. We've got some profile display options. So lane names over image, they show up if you click show profile to edit bands. So as you can see, it's this naming section here. Show bands on image is what makes these bands appear and disappear. Show first lane peaks shows you your peaks for your bands. Show, show molecular size would be an option if I had included molecular weight calculations in the original analysis of these lanes in clicks, but I haven't, so I haven't got any data there to show. And then remove background as you can see removes so anything below the purple line here is the background and this has been decided in clicks and just clicking that just brings all of the all of the lanes down removes the background and you can see here's the rf value so when you're talking about this is a zero to one rf scale but if i was only looking at between four and six for example i'd only be matching i'd only be looking at these two bands for matching in this specific lane profile and then table settings, as I said, for the, the calculate the table feeds into the band matrix and the lane similarity tabs for the matrix measure. I'll get onto this in a second when I go through the band matrix, but it decides what measure is displayed and used for matching in the band matrix. So you can use presence. So whether the band is present or absent in in the kind of the matrix. Um, if the volume is matched, if the calibrated volume matched, normalized volume is matched, Gaussian volume is matched, band percentage is matched, again calibrated normalized value and lane presented matched, and you can show numbers or, or not show numbers. So if I come through, this will be in the lane similarity table that those numbers are displayed. So moving back here. What I, what I clicked on before to show you these profile display options and how they change what you see is show profile to edit bands. Now, although your, your images should be analyzed in clicks before they're brought in here, you may wish to do some manual editing of bands in 1D Pro once you've performed your matching. And we, we can support that. Uh, we can support the addition or the removal of new bands. Well, sorry, the addition of new bands or the removal of existing bands. And what you would do is you would turn this option on and you would left click to add a new band. And then once you've added a band, if you wanted to remove your if you wanted to remove a band, either the one you've added or one that already existed, just hover your mouse over an existing band and you'll see that it turns into a cross. Left click to remove that band. So this is the view for editing bands. You'll notice that we've got, since we've clicked match lanes, we've got a lot of red spots at the top here. And if we click those, those will highlight where our band matches are amongst our database. So if we left click on those, we can see that they'll highlight all of our matches between all of our lanes. If we right click them, we can remove that match if we, if we, if we don't want it or not interested in it or don't believe it's a true match. Or we can left click to add a new match along those lanes and you'll see that it gives you the turquoise line to say that it's looking for a match in that area. We've got the ability to zoom in on the profiles, zoom out or reset our zoom of the lanes that we're looking at. So if we come across to the second tab which is lane pairs, this shows you in much better detail kind of with two or three or four or five, as many lanes as you select, it shows you them in very close up how they look next to each other and how they match. So if you just left click, you can select one lane. If you hold control and left click, you can select multiple lanes and you can see how they match together. So any bands that have purple lines match to a red spot, they are matched together. Red spots are where a match has been identified in other lanes within the database, but not the lanes that you currently have selected. 
Um, and again, you can scroll along and see where these matches have been made. And see where they line up on the kind of the profile view versus the image view. So if you have particular bands that you're interested in looking at how well they matched, for example, you can do that within the, the lane pairs tab. If we come across to the band matrix tab, just take a second. So because I've got this set to presence, it's zero or one is the score. So what it's looking at here is it's got the RF value of the lane as we move through and it's got the lane number and it's seeing whether there's a match between the, the, the lane and the band at that RF position in all of the lanes. So one is um, it's present, you know, the, ma the match is present and a zero is there is no match. If we change this, we can get, so we can get matching based on, rather than presence or absence, we can get matching based on, well, in this instance, volume. So at this RF, in these lanes, there is a match, and the volume of the peak in that match, so the, the, the intensity of that band is, is this number here. And again, we can change this to be things like calibrated volume, normalized volume, Gaussian volume, band percentage. So that would be once this, uh, so this would be at this RF. So remember, we're looking at, we're looking at this RF against along every lane for our matches. In these lanes, these bands at this position where there is a match because it's yellow, this band here is a 4.26%, um, percentage of all of the bands that are in that lane. This one's 5.92. So in this instance, this band here is more of a proportion of all of the percentage of the bands in, in this lane. So that's how the band matrix works. And it's a very quick way of comparing your matches across the table. And if I come across to lane similarity, now there's nothing in this table until you click on calculate table and you'll see you get this very colorful table um, which is looking for your lane similarity so we've got all of our lanes here we're getting all of our lanes here and this is kind of a heat map of how similar these lanes are to each other now what you can do is come down to the table settings that I mentioned before and just click on show numbers and then you'll get a numerical score denoting how similar these lanes are to each other. So this runs from 0 to 100, with 0 being no similarity and 100 being completely identical lanes. So as you can see, the kind of the dirk, the, the turquoise color denotes that there's a there's 100% match between, between the lanes. And then the, the darker the green color, the closer towards turquoise color, the closer the match. So even if you don't have the numbers on, you can decipher the heat map and work out how similar your lanes are to each other. Now you can right click and copy this as a table and paste it in something like Excel or use it in any kind of additional stats packages that you may want to move this lane similarity table into for advanced statistics. You can do the same with the band matrix table and with the lane pairs, if we just wait there a second. So what we can do is we can copy, we can copy a kind of a, a screenshot of the lane profile, or we can copy it to a file. So create a new file out of it, and and zoom out and zoom in as well from there. And again, if we right click, we can copy the lane profile from here, but we can't copy. We can copy the lane profile from here, but we can't kind of copy the image of the lane from here. So that was a quick run through of the tools and options that we've got within Clix 1D Pro to identify matches across different lanes based on the bands that we've got within our lanes. If you'd be interested in finding out more or you'd wish to try a version of Clix 1D Pro for yourself with your own data to see how it performs, please check out the links in the description below.